Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says An oil company has two depots A and B with capacities of 7000 litres and 4000 litres respectively. The company is to supply oil to three petrol pumps D, E and F whose requirements are 4500 litres 3000 litres and 3500 litres respectively. The distances between the depots and the petrol pumps is given in the following table. Now the distance from petrol pump D to the depot A is 7 km and to the depot B it is 3 km. The distance of the petrol pump E to the depot A is 6 km and to the depot B it is 4 km. Again the distance from the petrol pump F to the depot A is 3 km and to the depot B it is 2 km. Assuming that the transportation cost of 10 liters of oil is rupee 1 per km, how should the delivery be scheduled in order that the transportation cost is minimum. What is the minimum cost? Let's start the solution. Now according to the question, an oil company has two depots A and B which supply oil to three petrol pumps D, E and F. So let X liters and Y liters of the oil be supplied from depot at A two petrol pumps D and E respectively. Now the given problem can be explained diagrammatically. Now here A and B are two depots which supply oil to three petrol pumps G, E and F. Now according to the given question the capacity of depot A is 7000 liters and the company is to supply oil to three petrol pumps D, E and F whose requirements are 4500 liters, 3000 liters and 3500 liters respectively. Since the capacity of depot A is 7000 liters and we have assumed that X liters and Y liters of the oil be supplied from depot at A to petrol pumps G and E respectively. Therefore, 7000 minus X minus Y liters of oil can be supplied from depot A to petrol pump F that is the quantity which can be supplied from depot A to petrol pump F is 7000 minus X minus Y liters Hence, we have x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0 and 7000 minus x minus y greater than or equal to 0. That is x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0 and x plus y 
less than equal to 7000. Again, we are given the requirement of petrol pump D is 4500 liters and the requirement of petrol pump E is 3000 liters and requirement of petrol pump F is 3500 liters. Since X liters of oil has already been supplied from depot A, therefore the remaining 4500 minus X liters of oil will be supplied from depot B. Similarly, Y liters of oil has already been supplied from depot A. Therefore, the remaining 3000 minus Y liters of oil will be supplied from depot B. Now again we are given the capacity of depot B is 4000 liters. So we are given the capacity of depot B is 4000 liters. Since 4500 minus X liters of oil will be supplied from depot B to the petrol pump D and 3000 minus Y liters of oil will be supplied from depot B to petrol pump E. Therefore, 4000 minus 4500 minus X plus 3000 minus Y liters of oil will be supplied from depot B to petrol pump F. Since requirements of oil at petrol pumps D, E and F are 4500 liters, 3000 liters and 3500 liters respectively. So, quantity of oil supplied from, from depot B to petrol pumps D E and F are 4500 minus 6 liters, 3000 minus Y liters, and 4000 minus 4500 minus x plus 3000 minus y liters respectively. So we have four thousand five hundred minus x greater than or equal to zero and three thousand minus y greater than or equal to zero and four thousand minus four thousand five hundred minus x plus three thousand minus y greater than or equal to zero now, 4500 minus x greater than or equal to 0 implies 
x less than equal to 4500 again 3000 minus 5 greater than equal to 0 implies y less than equal to 3000 now on solving this inequality we have x plus y greater than equal to 3500 again we are given the transportation cost of 10 liters of oil is rupee 1 per kilometer that is we have the transportation cost of 10 liters of oil is rupee 1 per kilometer or we can say the transportation cost of 1 liter of oil is rupee 0 0.1 per kilometer. So we have the total cost is equal to the total distance traveled in kilometer from two depots to the three petrol pumps into rupee 0 0.1. Now we are given the distance of petrol pump D from the depot A is 7 km and from depot B it is 3 km. Again the distance of E from A is 6 km and from B is 4 km. Again the distance of petrol pump F from depot A is 3 km and from depot B it is 2 km. Therefore, the total transportation cost Z is given by Z is equal to 0.1 into 7x plus 6y plus 3 into 7000 minus x minus y plus 3 into 4500 minus x plus 4 into 3000 minus y plus 2 into x plus y minus 3500. Now this is equal to 0 0.1 into 7x plus 6y plus 21000 minus 3x minus 3y plus 13,500 minus 3x plus 12,000 minus 4y plus 2x plus 2y minus 7,000 and this is again equal to 0 0.1 into 3x plus y plus 39,500 and this is again equal to 0 0.3x plus 0 0.1y plus 3950 
Now, according to the question, we have to find how should the delivery be scheduled in order that the transportation cost is minimum. And we have to find the minimum cost. Hence, the given problem reduces to minimize z is equal to 0.3x plus 0.1y plus 3950 subject to the constraints x plus y less than equal to 7000 let us give this as number 1 x plus y greater than equal to 3500 let us give this as number 2 x less than equal to 4500 let us give this as number 3 again y less than equal to 3000 now let us give this as number 4 and x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 let us give these non-negative constraint as number 5 so z is equal to 0.3x plus 0.1y plus 3950 is our objective function now these are the constraints so we will draw the graph and find the feasible region subject to these given constraints so first we will draw the line representing the equation x plus y is equal to 7000 corresponding to the inequality x plus y less than equal to 7000 now clearly the points 0 7000 and 7000 0 lie on the line x plus y is equal to 7000 therefore the graph of the line can be drawn by plotting points 0 7000 and 7000 0 and then joining them now this is a point 0 7000 and this is a point 7000 0 now this line represents the equation x plus y is equal to 7000 now this line divides a plane into two half planes so we will consider the half plane which will satisfy one now clearly origin satisfy this inequality so the half plane containing the origin is the graph of one now the equation corresponding to the inequality x plus y greater than equal to 3500 is x plus y is equal to 3500. Clearly the points 0, 3500 and 3500, 0 satisfy the equation x plus y is equal to 3500. So we will plot these points on the same graph and then join them to get the equation of the line x plus y is equal to 3500 now this is the point 0 3500 and this is the point 3500 0 now this line divides the plane into two half planes so we will consider the half plane which will satisfy 2. Now clearly the origin does not satisfy this inequality. So 
the half plane which does not contain the origin is the graph of 2. That is, we will consider the half plane which will not contain the origin. Again, the equation corresponding to the inequality x less than or equal to 4500 is x is equal to 4500. Now, it represents a line parallel to y axis on the graph which passes through 4500 0. So now we will draw this line on the same graph. So this is the line representing the equation x is equal to 4500. Again this line divides a plane into two half planes. So we will consider the half plane which will satisfy three clearly the origin satisfy this inequality. So we will consider the half plane which will contain the origin. In a similar way we will represent y less than or equal to 3000 graphically by drawing the line y is equal to 3000. Now this is a line parallel to x-axis passing through the point 0, 3000. Now this is a point 0, 3000. Again this line divides a plane into two half planes. So we will consider the half plane which will satisfy 4. So clearly the half plane which contains the origin will satisfy 4. So we will consider the half plane which contains the origin. Again x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 implies the graph lies in the first quadrant only. So by making use of the constraints 1 to 5 we get the shaded region A, B, C, D, E as the feasible region. That is the shaded region A, B, C, D, E represented by the constraints 1 to 5 is the feasible region. Now here we observe that the feasible region is bounded. Now the coordinates of these corner points are 500, 3000, that is the coordinates of the point A are 500, 3000. Now the coordinates of point B are 3500, 0 and the coordinates of the point C are 4500 and 0 and the coordinates of D are 4500 and 2500. Again the coordinates of point E are 4000, 3000. That is here the feasible region is bounded with coordinates of corner points as A with coordinates 500, 3000, B with coordinates 3500, 0, C with coordinates 4500, 0 and D with coordinates 4500, 2500 and E with coordinates 4000, 3000. Now according to corner point method, cost of transportation Z will be minimum at any one of these points. So we will evaluate Z is equal to zero point three X plus zero point one Y plus three thousand nine hundred fifty at each of these points. So at the point A with coordinates 500, 
3000 Z is equal to 0 0.3 into 500 plus 0 0.1 into 3000 plus 3950 and this is equal to 150 plus 300 plus 3950 and this is again equal to 4400. Now at the point 3500 0 Z is equal to 0 0.3 into 3500 plus 0 0.1 into 0 plus 3950 and this is equal to 1050 plus 0 plus 3950 and this is again equal to 5000. Now at 4500 0 Z is equal to 0 0.3 into 4500 plus 0 0.1 into 0 plus 3950 and this is equal to 1350 plus 0 plus 3950 and this is again equal to 5300. Now at the point 4500 2500 Z is equal to 0 0.3 into 4500 plus 0 0.1 into 2500 plus 3950 and this is equal to 1350 plus 250 plus 3950 and this is equal to 5550. Now again at the point 4000, 3000, Z is equal to 0 0.3 into 4000 plus 0 0.1 into 3000 plus 3950 and this is equal to 1200 plus 300 plus 3950 and this is again equal to 5450. So here we observe that the transportation cost Z is minimum at 500, 3000 and its value at this point is 4400. Hence, the minimum value of Z is 4400 at the point. Five hundred three thousand. Hence, the delivery fee scheduled in such a way that from depot A quantity of oil supplied to petrol pumps D, E and F should be 500 liters 3000 liters and 
2,500 liters respectively. And quantity of oil supplied to pumps D E and F from depot B should be four thousand liters zero liters. And zero liters, respectively. So by this way, the transportation cost will be minimum, and the minimum transportation cost. Will be rupees four thousand four hundred. Hence, the answer for the above question is from depot A, five hundred, three thousand, and three thousand five hundred liters, and from depot B, four thousand zero and zero liters should be supplied to petrol pumps D, E, and F respectively, and the minimum cost. By this way, will be rupees four thousand four hundred. So this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.